When you apply for membership in the Temple of Ascending Flame, you will be asked to perform the Ascending Flame project and submit a report showing results of your work. In this video, we will take a look at the project, explaining how it is done and how to proceed with your membership application. To receive the project, contact us at infoascendingflame.com. You don't need any special experience to attempt the workings, and we don't charge anything for the materials. The Ascending Flame project consists of seven workings, which have to be done individually on seven days in a row, at any chosen hour of the day or night. Each working adjusts your consciousness to the current of the temple and prepares it for communion with Lucifer, who is the patron god of the temple and the initiator of the ascending flame. All of them are designed according to the same pattern, except for the last working, which you have to design yourself. The workings are not supposed to be changed. They are designed this way for a reason, and you should perform them as they are described. After each ritual, write down your experiences, visions and everything else you think is relevant and when the whole project is finished, prepare a report and send it to us. When you receive the project, take your time and perform it when you are ready. There is no required span of time to do the workings and you can submit your report after a week, month or even a year. Once you send your report, you will receive a confirmation from us that we have received your report and it is now being reviewed. This confirmation should arrive within 7 days. If you don't hear from us, it probably means we haven't received your email, so contact us again. All reports are reviewed by a team of experienced temple initiates and you can be sure that you will receive a fair assessment of your work. If your report is accepted, we will send you a welcome message with information on how to proceed with the membership. You will then have access to most of our inner projects, our forum, and you will be asked to start an 11-week program that leads to initiation into the Draconian Current. Each daily set of workings contains the following elements. Concentration on the key sigil, invocation of the ascending flame of Lucifer, and meditation. While the first two elements are the same all the time, the successive meditations will take you further and deeper into communion with Lucifer, and new elements will be added each day. For example, on the first day you open the gates to the current of Lucifer, and make initial contact with the patron god of the temple. On the following day you invoke him into your consciousness. Then you travel to his throne and so on. Each meditation is different and takes you to where you left on the day before. There is no invocation or meditation for the last day. On the seventh day you have to write your own invocation and perform it in the same way as it was done on the previous six days. Use the same sigil, but speak your own words and let the meditation take you to the most personal areas of your subconscious mind. Then let your consciousness match with Lucifer's and rise with his ascending flame. Lucifer is the light bearer, the symbol and the patron of the Age of Reawakening. He stands as the gate and the guide to the path of self-deification, illumination and awakening from the slumber of ignorance. He is the initiator of the ascending flame and the patron god of the temple, which was founded to bring forth the noses of the light bearer and the primal draconian gods. This is the noses of the dragon of the void that over the ages has been forgotten, lost, misinterpreted and distorted and now it is being brought back to the world in the form of the draconian current that is being earthed through individuals capable of receiving and channeling this knowledge. The purpose of the project is 
to open the consciousness of the practitioner for a glimpse of this draconian gnosis through communion with Lucifer, which occurs both on the mundane plane and in stellar dimensions at his throne among the stars. To perform the workings, you will only need the key sigil, which is provided in the project materials. Print it or draw it. Ideally, it should be gold on a black background, and you can paint it on paper, wood, or any other chosen material. Another option is to use black and red colors. The size is up to you. To perform the workings properly, you have to activate the sigil with a few drops of your own blood. Most practitioners use a razor or lancet, but the choice of a tool that you will use to draw the blood is up to you as well. You can repeat the blood offering each day, or you can just do it on the first day, if you feel that this is enough to activate the sigil. In the work of the temple, blood is the substance that opens the door to the other side, and the gateways of the inner mind. If the idea of offering a few drops of your own blood puts you off, Perhaps this work is not for you. Think about it before starting the project. Other tools that you can use for the workings are candles, statues of pictures of Lucifer, incense, and any other items that you normally use in your ritual magic. But all of this is optional, and the only tool that is necessary in the project is the key sigil. To prepare yourself for the workings, you don't have to memorize the invocation that is used in the project, but you should memorize the meditations, so you don't have to look at the text when you're in the ritual. When the project is finished and you are ready to continue the work, you're welcome to submit your results and apply for membership. In this case, make sure your report contains the following information. Personal introduction and explanation why you want to join the temple. It doesn't have to be your whole life story, but we want to know who you are, what you expect from working with us, and what you can contribute to our work. Description of each day's working, at least two or three sentences about each day's results, but the more you put into it, the better. And your personal invocation, written for day 7. What happens next? If your application is accepted, before you are introduced to our inner work, you will be asked for a meeting in person, usually through Skype or another online communicator. This only takes 10 to 30 minutes and the chat is in English, so make sure you're ready for it. This is not a test or anything like that. It's just a way of getting to know you a little better before you start working with us. If you are not fluent in English, you are allowed to bring someone who will help with translation. I wish everyone good luck with the project and I invite you to contact us and apply for membership at info ascendingflame.com.